All right, welcome to Lightroom Classic. And I've had a million people ask me that I showed how to use this gallery, but I didn't show how to upload it to a website. And there's a great reason why I didn't show you how to upload this to a website, because you shouldn't. This is archaic technology. If you want to create a website, use WordPress. It is much better. It's more dynamic. It's easier to use and much more sophisticated. People haven't done anything like this for like 10 or 15 years. This is basic HTML. Most people don't use basic HTML to write web pages anymore. Now, if you were sending your portfolio to a client or a friend, this works really good to create a sophisticated little portfolio that they can navigate through. Now, I'm not gonna go in here and fill out all this information, but one thing I wanna tell you, make sure that your web or email link isn't in here if you are creating a website. If you're sending it to a friend or as a portfolio, you can put it in, but don't put it on a website. You never wanna have your email link on a website because spammers will get it and send you all kinds of stuff. You always want a contact page with CAPTCHA. Don't use the email link. All right, so once you've created this and you're happy with it, and we've already gone over there in the last video, we can export this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit export. I'm gonna call this Dogs Gallery. And we're gonna save this. We'll just save it to pictures because I don't really use pictures. So Dogs Gallery. So that's gonna create a folder. So if I go here and I navigate to my finder, and I go to pictures, we'll hit date modified, and right there is dogs gallery. If I open dogs gallery, you can see all the information. The way a web page works are these basic web pages are. Whenever you create a website, your first or your home page is gonna be called index.html. It has to be called index.html. So when you upload information to a website, and you're writing code in HTML, it needs, the first page needs to be called index.html. If you have a menu and you have other galleries, then those pages can be something different than index.html. If you just want this to be a home page and that's it, you can just leave it like this. They work, they're really easy. All you gotta do is double click index.html, you can see it works. What I was showing you is if you wanted to create a quick portfolio or a client, you wanted to take this over to their house, all you need to do is send them that folder and they can double click on the index HTML and this will run on anybody's computer just by clicking on it. You don't actually have to upload it to a website. It's already created. They just need to go in here and double click on index HTML and it will run. Now, if you want to upload this to a website, a couple of issues. First, if you just want to run this and that's it, all you need to do is upload this really easy. You just take all this information. You don't really need the dogs gallery folder, just content down to here and upload this to your public folder on your domain at your host. That's it. Upload it. It will run. However, if you want this to be one gallery in a series of galleries, you're gonna to have to change all this information. You're gonna to have to rewrite the HTML. So if you want this called dogs gallery, you need to change each one of these to dogs gallery. And then in the menu, which you would have up here, you might have dogs gallery. You need to link that to the dogs gallery.html, which is the first one. And then it will run through these. So you have to know how to write basic HTML and you have to have a program that lets you write basic HTML before you can ever do that. So if that's what you wanna do, then you need to upload your information. So we'll go back here to Lightroom. Now to upload your information, notice we have an upload down here. So we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. And right down here, we have something called FTP server. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. And there's a lot of free programs out there like CyberDuck and FileZilla that let you upload to FTP, but you don't need that here. Basically, what you're gonna do is go here to custom settings and hit edit. And then your host is gonna give you an address to FTP or upload your images. And it's most likely gonna be like ftp.bluehost.whatever. 
all right? They're going to give you a name of a server and you're going to put that in. And then you're going to have your own username, all right? So you're going to put your username and your password associated with your website. Server path is the location where you want that to be. You don't actually have to do that. You can just log on to your server and navigate and then hit upload. But let's say inside of that public folder, this is going to be uploaded into another folder called gallery. You would just put gallery here. So that's the path that would go to public. So you'd need to put the full path of where you want this to go. You have to know what it is. If you don't know what it is, just leave it blank. And then you would hit OK. And then this would automatically upload that information that I just showed you to it. Or you could use a separate program like Cyberduck to do it, either one. But to do this, you actually have to have your own a domain name or you have to have a host that gives you a free one. You have to have some way to upload to create your own website. And if you have that, most like your website's going to have different ways to create ones automatically, like WordPress, they're far better. Use WordPress. It's more dynamic. It's easier to use and it's going to give you a much, much, much better website than something like this. If you're just going to send your images as a portfolio to a friend, you can easily create these galleries and send them to them that way. So hopefully this video has been helpful. It clarifies a few points as to why I didn't show you anything. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any more comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.